while we are at it with this scene, I might as well show you. Um, what on earth are you doing over there? Here we go. Um, <laughs> might as well show you what I meant about the uh, the uh, sorry uh, the environment overrides. So I really let me just uh, hide this guy. I really like to use, as I've said before, uh, low resolution HDR images for um, for diffuse lighting um, for several reasons. Uh, mainly that they don't flicker as much; uh, they get you like much nicer results because uh, there's not uh, well, a lot of uh, light or places to sample in the image, and it's not going to be confused. It's just going to give you a nice, uh, a nice image, but um, it does have. Where is everything? That's not what I want it. Oh well. Um, it does have uh, a problem with the fact that, uh, in turn, that means that your reflections are going to be uh, off of this uh, soft thing as well, the, so the soft image. And we do really like to have like sharp, defined reflections and highlights and stuff like that. So, what to do? Um, let's see if we just have a look at this. It does reflect, but it's just not interesting at all because um, there's uh, there's really no detail in what we're reflecting. So the trick is then to go into your V-Ray tab and enter your environment hit override uh, environment and here I have placed another image um, which is actually the same one as the one we're using for lighting but in a take 10k version instead of a I think it's 5 512 by 256 the HDR or the uh, the diffuse lighting one so this is about 10k um, and I've placed that in the background and the reflection and the refraction uh, override things here you can even use uh, you can do just pipe your GI straight in here but I kind of like using uh, a light dome it's gonna give you somewhat the same um, I think the light dome is a bit cleaner uh, and easier to control but you could do that if you wanted but yeah what I've done is basically uh, load this uh, full res uh, HDR in here and then pipe that into all three of them. And if you have a look at it now, our reflections and everything should be a lot nicer. Um, actually, I'm cheating because I had the reflections off the uh, light dome before. But just trust me, it would be really soft and, uh, and dull. Whereas now we're getting really nice fine uh, reflections. Same thing goes for um, uh, refractions uh, if we had those in there as well. And that's basically that it's, it's that simple. Um, 10k images on a laptop is, uh, is maybe a little bit going overboard but V-Ray does handle it uh, extremely well. Um, so yeah, you might as well go ahead and do whatever you feel like. Um, <clears throat> one thing you want to keep an eye on though, if you decide that you want to rotate your light dome, you can just find it here, um, for whatever reason you want to rotate the stuff around, you will need to get the same values uh, in your environment override textures. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be a little bit freaky, uh, but that should make perfect sense. And yeah, it's it's as simple as that. Uh, remember to set both of them to be read in as linear files, uh, being EXRs that are linear, um, and then just uh, get some nice detailed specs and reflections in there. Uh, yes, as said, this would be a short one, so. Uh, I'm off and uh, head over to renderschool.com and see what else is going on. Sign up for the newsletter um, 
I will keep you informed uh, on whatever is going on. So uh, take care and see you later.